Woo! So, yeah. The hype is real. Yeah, I just got back from seeing it. Now, when this movie first got announced, I just kicked it to the curb because I remember seeing the original with Tim Curry playing Pennywise the Clown, and I thought it was just flat out awful. Not only does it give, did it give clowns a bad name, but it, but it practically it was a downgrade hate in the great career of one Tim Curry. Plus, uh, plus, I felt the movie was just, well, badly made, really rushed, hushed, and some of the characters aren't exact, weren't exactly that likable or relatable. It just felt like, you know, felt like, well, they felt like, you know those movies that, movies that, like, that are made in the 90s, but still yearn for the 80s? That's what the original It movie felt like. And I remember feel like that was, like, three hours of my life that I wasted and would not get back in. Yeah, I was kind of ticked off about that. So this movie came out, I just like put it to the wayside and just ignored it. But the reviews kept coming in. Many people on Facebook kept talking about it. Great YouTube people kept kept talking about it. And the like about it. The, the reviews were rave. Ave and plus one of my friends were practically screaming and shaking at me for not seeing this movie yet. But I have a busy schedule, a work, like a social life, and you know, like and work stuff, so I could never get around to seeing it. Finally, got to see it, and I'm blown away. For a second time ever, ever a remake of a Stephen King movie is better than the original. Well, some like that's more a matter of opinion, but I think this in this case, a lot more people are gonna like this one better than the original one. When now, now for those of you who, you like who don't know don't know the story, or or just aren't into horror at all, but yet you clicked on this video, um, the story of it is about a creature, a creature that lurks in the town of Derry, Maine, every twenty seven years, and at the end it preys on the fears of children and uses that fear to kill them. Oh, just a heads up, if the audio sounds weird, I've had to switch different rooms to record the audio for this video. I tried doing it in the side room, but Pops is watching football in the other room, and the other half of this recording is having to be done in a closet. No, not in fear of the clown. Don't keep your fingers away from the keyboard, you little snarks. Arks. But yeah, it's the only pl place I can record without the audio from the television getting in. So, anyway... This movie was directed by Adam Muschietti, and I'm pretty sure I butchered that name up, so I apologize to the director. After so, and I like, and um, like what really makes this movie move at first is like, well, the beginning, like like most horror movies, you get a lot of jump scares, but instead of most jump scares in between, in between the main plot, all the jump scares happen on top of each other because half our main cast. Like has have to like have to be like have to be lured in by the creature, creature or it. But you know what? I'm just gonna like just call him like just call it Pennywise because that's just, that's what the creature is. It's Pennywise the clown. All right. So because like I'll be saying it throughout this entire thing because it's the name of the movie and I think I'm rambling here. But Pennywise sets up a lot of jump scares in this movie. Even for a horror movie, there's a lot of jump scares. Even when you even when you know it's a jump scare, you know, it it will still find a way to surprise to surprise you because the scare does not come up when you think it does. It, for those of you who've seen the movie already, you know what I'm talking about. And of course, there is the thing the thing that this that this creature your Pennywise preys on children, so adults really cannot see it. Because I saw this movie with my pops, and he was asking like in one particular scene, he was asking why like. He couldn't see all the stuff in the bathroom. And you know what scene I'm talking about here. And I had to explain to him that this is a child killing monster. Adults really they like like really don't feed it. It feeds off the fear of children. The kids in this movie, I was very impressed with, because there's a lot of adult dialogue here. Here, here um, I mean a lot of it. Just stuff that kids of their age should not be saying. But according from what I read. All the child actors here are just straight up, like, we're straight up professional. Like, they've done stuff like this before, so, like, like, so, like, like, we're like, so basically, all the sexual innuendos and references are nothing new to them. The kids in the film are also very relatable. Well, 
mainly for relatable to me for a personal sort because there is one character and he is the town bully or as I should say the town psychopath because I mean because this damn not even the bullies that mess with me ever ever pulled out a knife out on me or anything that kid was just crazy insane and it gets even worse when Pennywise gets in his head but also the some of these kids deal with like deal with problems at home like like the like the girl Beverly, she it's it's pretty clear like clear that clear that her father touches her, her her down there. It's just really disturbing. And of course there's the there's the overweight kid who's crushing on her. Or obviously he's got no shot. But he but he does get one he does get one in. You know what I'm talking about. And like like and then there are the the other kids because I really cannot remember their names, so I'm just gonna say the the glasses kid who Practically, he's a complete nurse, smart aleck, which hey, that suits me me very well. You got the you got the black kid Mike who care like like who works in a sheep factory and doesn't have the gall to kill the sheep. Well, at first, first, but I'm not gonna go in too much about like about this about this because about uh, this because like my memory is so fleeting, like fleeting, so fleeting, like, but. All right, um, this movie was like, 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 if you're a very young person, like, was very scary, and like, definitely do not take your children to see this movie. I don't know why you would take your children to see this movie. It'd be like, this is not meant for children. This is like, like to take, like, to take the, this movie to go see with your, like, with your, with your adult partner, your adult friends who like horror movies, movies. That's basically it. If this is not a movie for children, and plus, like. After this, a whole new generation of kids are going to be terrified of clowns because of this movie. So, if you're a clown, I'm sorry, you might have to find another line of work because this movie might just going to put clowns out of a job permanently. The effects in this movie, well, they're basically your geriatric CGI effects. I mean, you're so used to them now; they're so overused because they're so very, very like it's very cheap to do. Like you practically just blink at it, but. The, the the CGI effects are not to the point where the where it makes the movie movie really bad. On the contrary, contrary, where like Trey, like when like when you see Pennywise's deadlights. Yep. See, I just used the key word from the original original movie there. They're like, um, it's a very nice effect. And speaking of the original movie, there are a lot of references to the original movie and like movie in this film. Sort of like a of an homage wink to it. But then again, like the whole internet's in a homage to this movie now because I'm pretty sure you've seen the Pennywise memes of like, of like what's he, what what Pennywise has in the sewer. Y'all float down here, and um, that phrase is taken quite literally in this movie, big time literal. Oh, but what did I think of the movie? I really enjoyed this movie. It felt like, like it felt like repayment for that god awful awful Tim Curry movie that movie that we got in the, in the early nineties, and obviously now for those of you who have read the book, I have never read the book it. I have to, you know what, I'm gonna have to do like have to read it next read the book it next year. It's probably it's it's gonna I'm gonna have to just because it's unavoidable now because for those of you who have read the book, you know the book the book it is like a thousand plus pages long, but then again it's Stephen King so it's. But how much worriness can you get if you're a St like if you're Stephen King? But obviously, like if the end credits signify there's gonna be a part two. And really, even if this movie like movie wasn't gonna have a part two, it like the way it ended, ended like it's still very satisfying, even if there's not even if there wasn't gonna be a part two, but there definitely is gonna be a part two. Ew. And I just hope they don't freaking rush it like like Hollywood likes to do. They do, but but obviously, uh, we're not going to have the kids anymore. Our kids are going to be grown up in the part in the second part. I think maybe fifteen or twenty years passes by. Who knows what they're going to tell me? What the time jump's going to be? But I am really looking forward to it, Chapter Two. Really. So, if you're a horror fan and 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 have not seen this movie yet, um, hurry up before it gets out of theaters. I'm very lucky I got to see this, but. Like I usually try to see like maybe one or two horror movies in theaters a, a year. I'm pretty sure nothing else I see is going to top top this. It 2017 is amazing. Check it out.